Satanists have an affinity towards the exceptions rather than the rules, the abnormalities in favor of the normal. And I think that shows in the aesthetic. We like to see the bizarre and the obscure and the hidden. That is where you find the best art. Bridge Street in Salem, an old Victorian house once a funeral home. Now the new headquarters for the Satanic Temple, according to their website, a nationally recognized religious and political group. The Satanic Temple is a non-theistic religious organization. We renounce supernaturalism, but we still feel that we are every bit as much a religious entity as any other religious entity and we fight for our deeply held values. We are Satanists. We engender moral, spiritual, and sexual freedom, personal independence, and insist upon personal choice in all things. Art and aesthetics is very important to modern Satanism. And I think that's due in no small part to us renouncing supernaturalism and viewing our religion is a metaphorical construct. It's a declaration of personal independence. I use satanic imagery in my work to talk about the imbalance of power within our country, within gender, within sexualities. The attraction to Satan is one of the ultimate rebel, the one that wants to work against order, the authority, so to speak, of Yahweh, of God. Baphomet is a humanoid, typically goat-headed figure. When I was a Christian, this image was so jarring to me. It was so complex with all that strange coded meanings behind the torch and the hands and the gestures and the phallus and the breasts and the hooves. And it becomes this dump of esoteric religious imagery onto this one image that shows us the reconciliation of opposites, the yin-yang. The uh, piece behind me is the devil's kiss. This is what was purported that witches would have to do in order to show their allegiance to Satan. I very much love the dialogue of racialization of Satan throughout history. He was given an aquiline nose to represent very Semitic features, and he was also given blue skin or black skin to represent that as well. And so it was kind of Europe's interpretation of being anti-Semitic and also anti-Black. So Satan is, in modern incarnation, is less of this biblical figure and more of this, like, well, we think this group of people are the devil. But in my world, he has power. And so he's enjoying the hell out of it. <laughs> Baphomet sculpture was conceived when the Satanic Temple decided that we wanted to offer a Satanic monument to complement and contrast a Ten Commandments monument that was replaced on the Capitol grounds in Oklahoma City. You have no problem with the Ten Commandments standing there uh, next to your devil figure, right? That's correct. So long as uh, multiple points of view are allowed. The thinking was, if they were going to place a religious monument on government property, the government needed to maintain viewpoint neutrality, and they couldn't exclude another religious voice or preference another. Um, otherwise, it would most certainly be unconstitutional. We wanted something that would commemorate the victims of the many witch hunts that helped inform us of how to run a better secular legal system. Baphomet is this ultimate symbol of redemption, which I see it as, is this, it, it's, it'll show us this rebalancing. This granite statue of the Ten Commandments renewing the debate over the separation of church and state. Despite efforts to keep it on capital grounds, the Oklahoma Supreme Court ruling it unconstitutional. Satanism will never be a, a religion that tries to lead people to believe that if they convert to this one single point of view, that the world will be a better place because Satanism is the one religion that views that as a destructive frame of mind. And we embrace the fact that we live in a world where there's multiple differing points of view.